What's going on, gang? Wanted to uh, do a 2,000 mile uh, update on my uh, Biconic MD750 bike, and to say that I'm still enjoying it would be an understatement. The bike is just, for the type of uh, biking that I do in the Mojave Desert, is just just outstanding. It just goes over rocks, uh, loose uh, gravel, uh, and we have this soil here that uh, the locals call poof dirt. It's like uh, baby powder. It has consistency of baby powder and it can get as high as three or four up to six inches deep and with these big fat tires and that strong uh, G510 motor it just plows right through there. Uh, the other thing that's uh, that I'm really enjoying is that I never have any range anxiety. If I top the batteries off here I'm going to be able to go as far as my endurance basically will allow me to go uh, deep into the into the desert with uh, with no range anxiety and again that's one of the reasons I chose uh, this uh, Biconic bike is the engineers at Biconic did an excellent job at integrating the battery batteries into this frame there are other bikes out there with uh, dual battery systems but the ones that I've seen uh, they have the first battery uh, integrated nicely but then the second one they kind of kludge on to the frame this year uh, with the integrated batteries is just so well well designed and thought out and, and another nice thing about it is that you can charge both batteries at the same time uh, which is uh, very nice you don't have to take them off the bike to charge them uh, issues uh, really nothing that has to do with uh, Biconic uh, as far as the frame uh, have had to replace the chain at 1500 miles which is normal for the type of riding I do with the sand and silt in there. So I had to replace the chain and the cassette and uh, I'm having a few issues with the motor but uh, Biconic is working with me uh, through uh, Bethang and uh, we're going to get those issues uh, solved. The, uh, so far I've been very impressed with the uh, technical support at Biconic. Uh, uh, they've always answered my emails within a day or so and, uh, and re resolved any issues that I've had. So the bottom line is uh, still enjoying the bike at 2,000 miles. I only had it, I think, four months. Uh, planning on uh, going south uh, for the winter down in Arizona and uh, putting a lot more miles on it. Also going to be doing some upgrades to the drivetrain to it. Uh, I'm going to basically upgrade it to a uh, MD1000 uh, with a roll-off hub and a gates uh, drive belt. I, I uh, will make an uh, entire video on the upgrade and uh, I'm really anxious about that because th that will make this, uh, in my mind, the ultimate uh, electric fat bike. Uh, zero maintenance on the drivetrain, not have to worry about uh, greasing and cleaning the chain. Uh, and almost a, uh, a large selection of gears. The uh, roll-off hub uh, has 14 speeds in it, so you're going to be able to tackle just about any terrain with that. So uh, if uh, you guys are thinking about getting this bike, uh, this MD750 is definitely a, uh, a beautiful bike, uh, but uh, you might want to consider uh, the M uh, MD1000 because that's going to be, as I say, the ultimate e-bike. Anyway, uh, thanks for listening and uh, you guys and gals uh, have fun and uh, ride safe.